Labour Party came first and the APC came third, so we will prove it. The results are there. I next chair man knows it. A Achono says <laughs> Achono is the Labour Party governorship candidate of Imo State uh, that participated in the just concluded off cycle governorship election where Uzadema, uh, uh, the incumbent governor, came out successful as the winner of the election as declared by ANEC. It was very, very um, surprising that out of the 27 local government in Imo State, Uzodema won all the 27. Even the local government that there were no elections, Uzodema produced results from those places and said he won. What a mystery, I tell you. So now the Labour Party candidate, Achono, is saying that uh, uh, it was Labour Party that came out first. And APC came out distanted. And I know that nobody wants to vote to Ozadima if not for the rigging and the manipulation that they did. Uh, so he's saying that he will prove it and the results are there and Anak Chema knows. Anak Chema will tell you he did it, he doesn't do anything. He depended on the INEC residential com uh, electoral commissioner for Imo State. That is the person that should know. Okay. So let's dive into the details to see what Achono has more to say. The governorship candidate of the Labour Party in the November 11 election in Imo State, Atan Achano, has alleged that his party won the election and not the INEC chairman, and that the INEC chairman knows this because he has access to the INEC results viewing uh, portal. Hmm. Achano made this claim during an interview with Arise TV while reacting to a declaration of APC's candidate, Hope Uzadema, as the winner of the election. He also said that he could prove that Labour Party finished first while the APC finished third in the election. The Achonos, in Achonos' world, they didn't collate at the world collation centers. They took all the results to local government collation centers. When they got there, they chased us out. They now rearranged the result in such a way that it would look like we came third. So why are we making noise? Labour Party came first and APC came third. So we'll prove it. The results are there. I know chairman knows he has access to the RF portal. Mm. Can you see? So what uh, Achon is trying to say now is that the election that uh, was just concluded in Nemo State, rather than, you know, collating and bringing out the report from the polling unit, they packed all the results and took them to the local government collision center. And when they got there, they used forces to pursue everybody. And then they took time to rearrange and rework the report to put APC first and put PDP second and then put uh, a Labour Party third. The same way they did it at the national level is the way they have done it again in Nemo State. Now they say AP, uh, Labour Party came third, very far third. Yeah? Ha. Then, uh, uh, <laughs> then uh, 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 they brought the Labour Party third, put PDP second, and APC came first. After arranging it, they came and announced it that APC won. We all know that the election was rigged. That was, first of all, that was why they booked all the hotels to make sure that PDP and Labour Party uh, do not have spaces to stay. Secondly, they must have used government resources to pay and to buy all the forces that they needed. Okay. Moreover, how can the governor, a city governor that is also contesting, is also the administration that is conducting the election? What do you expect? That's how bad it is. He will do everything to his own uh, advantage because he will have privileged information. He will have privileged access to electoral materials. He will have privileged access to electoral officials. So he will arrange everything perfectly for himself. And that is exactly what they have done, making sure that they left no stone unturned. And now, um, Achon is saying he's going to challenge it, that they will prove it, that Labour Party came first, and uh, uh, what is his name, uh, uh, APC came third. How is he going to prove it? After all, the same thing happened at the presidential level, where Peter Obi and Atiku went to the tribunal, Tribunal saw all the evidences and came out to say the 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 cases lacked merit. They were not able to prove their cases and prove their points. Now, when the cases, the tribunal judgment was also challenged 
um, at, the, at the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said the same thing. They upheld the judgment of the lower court and said the, the judgment of the court of first instance was correct, that uh, the Labour Party and PDP could not prove their cases. They lacked, the, their cases lacked merit. They could not pre they prove their case beyond reasonable doubt. And so they don't have a choice but to uphold the judgment of the tribunal. So it's the same thing that will happen to the Labour Party. So if I were actually, I would not just waste my money because worst of all, the APC has the judiciary in their pocket, they have the INEC in their pocket, they have the public in their pocket, they have the forces, the military, the police in their pocket, or the security agencies. So they have put everything together for themselves, wanting to turn Nigeria into one party system. So where is actually going to prove it? Who is going to be the judge? Who is going to be in the court? Who is going to be the INEC? It's going to be a very difficult one. INEC will do everything to prove that the result they announced for APC is the correct result. And that's what they're going to use. Okay, even though there are a lot of flaws, even though, and the INEC is just a very funny uh, entity, I tell you. They need to dissolve that INEC. They need to make it truly independent by ensuring that the, go the president is not the person electing the chairman or, or, or you know, appointing the chairman of the INEC. It should be by election and they should, you know, follow the process, um, you know, the ranking in the INEC uh, system. For the, or they will bring people from the outside and they put like, three, four people and then they do the voting. That is the best way to, to produce the INEC chairman. And not just INEC chairman, even the head of several other parasitas that are appointed by the presidency will need to stop. They need to stop. So I sure know it's likely going to waste his time. The same way they are telling uh, Peter B and the uh, and the uh, Tiku that their lawyers are their problems. When the lawyers found that there are no cases, they failed to tell them the truth. Rather, they told them that they have cases so that they can get their money. So the same way they are going to tell uh, Achono, Achono, you are just going to feed lawyers. They know that you don't have case. Don't go there. But Achono, will he agree? That we don't know. That we don't know. <laughs> But he's saying that he's going to prove it. Well, I just hope he is able to prove it because he told Peter Obi that he said he was going to prove it. He could not produce an uh, ordinary result from the polling unit. He was producing the same result that INEC has in his portal. So that means he didn't have any other evidence extra other than what INEC collected and what INEC used to declare winners. So it doesn't work that way. And that's exactly what they want to tell Achono either now or later. They will say you want to waste the money, you don't have to waste the money. But if you choose to, so be it, so that the lawyers can eat. <laughs> I know a lot of lawyers are lining up for Chono now to see that they, they work for him, telling him you can prove it, you can prove it. Because sometimes some lawyers are so mischievous, they know that they, they may not be case, and they will tell you there is a case. And then they will turn it to their oil company and their financial factory. That is it. So... So you need to be very, very careful and be sure you are using the right lawyer that will tell you the truth and not the one that will tell you what you want to hear and then get the money out of your pocket. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.